with our new Sabrent Rocket 2230 SSD that provides PCE Gen 4 class speeds to this small form factor SSD. This SSD is the perfect size to fit inside of the Steam Deck. So in this video, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Hello everyone, my name's Mike and here at Sabrent we love to make and talk tech. So if that's what you're into, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. So I absolutely love my Steam Deck and if you're watching this video, you probably feel the same as well. Now, I have the base model, which is only 64 gigabytes of storage, which hasn't been too much of a problem as I do have this amazing Sabrent 1 terabyte A2 micro SD card, which works really well and I will continue using. But if you're like me, you always want a little bit more of storage. So the labs team at Sabrent have been working away, making my hunger for more storage happen by making this Sabrent Rocket 2230 SSD. This is a 30 millimeter long SSD that fits inside of the Steam Deck and is not only a replacement for the current Steam Deck SSD, but is an upgrade to it. In our Sabrent Labs, we have results showing that this SSD outperforms not only the base model Steam Deck, but also the top of the range deck with the 512 gigabyte SSD. So yeah, this is a really good SSD to grab if you have the Steam Deck, especially because it goes all the way up to one terabyte in size. So no matter what Steam Deck you've ended up buying, well, we've got the right SSD for you to upgrade to. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your SSD in the Steam Deck and show you that it's not as hard as it may first seem. Now, before we open up the Steam Deck, there are a few things that we need to do. First, you need to grab a Phillips screwdriver, an opening pick to pry open the case from the Steam Deck, and some tweezers as well. Then you need to make sure that the battery is below 25%, that you remove any cables and micro SD cards that may be plugged into the Steam Deck, and then just power down your Steam Deck. Next, we need to prep the battery by putting it into storage mode. So now you want to press and hold the power button and the volume up button and let go. And you should be presented with this screen right over here. Now using the D-pad to navigate, you want to navigate to system utility and press A. Then you want to go into power. You want to go into battery storage mode, press A to select. And then it says, do you want to proceed? You want to press yes by pressing A. And now the battery is in battery storage mode. Now this means that your Steam Deck will only wake up once a charger is plugged into the Steam Deck and none of the buttons will work. Now, before we go ahead and start unscrewing anything on the Steam Deck, I would actually recommend you grab your Steam Deck case as this is gonna be a great working surface for the Steam Deck. Let me show you why. So as you can see, the Steam Deck case has got a set of cutouts for the joysticks, which means that when I go ahead and turn it over, this is now gonna be a perfectly flat level surface for me to start undoing any of the screws and components off of the Steam Deck. Now, I will recommend you get some kind of magnetic uh, pad so that you don't lose any of the screws as there's gonna be quite a few of them. So grabbing our Phillips screwdriver, we want to remove eight screws from the back of the Steam Deck. There are four short screws and then in the middle and then four longer screws at the ends. We then want to grab our pick and we want to insert it into the thin edge of the right hand side of the grip. And once we've got it in, we want to do a little twisting motion around the right hand side of the grip. And as you can see, we can then pry it open and we wanna lift it open like so. And we wanna put this backing nice and safe. Then with the tweezers, you want to remove this thin piece of foil that is covering a hidden screw on the board shield. Now be careful with this as you are going to need to reuse this when reassembling the Steam Deck. So only pull it just enough to see the screw underneath. So now you want to take out the three screws that hold the board shield to the Steam Deck and then remove the shield itself. So you've got one hidden one just over here. You've got another one at the top here and then another one on the bottom left-hand corner here. 
Now in this section over here, there is a battery connector cable. Here we want to disconnect the battery by pulling on this cable. Now you want to pull it parallel to the connector and you want to just either grab your tweezers and just try to get a little bit more movement into that cable so that we can pull it a little bit easier. And you just want to take your time with it until it pops out. Now we can crack on with the SSD. Here we want to unscrew the screw that holds the SSD into place and then pull out the SSD by gripping it at its edges. Now you want to use your tweezers again and you want to pull off the ESD shield from the SSD as you'll need to transfer this to the new SSD. And now we want to transfer the shield onto our Sabrom Rocket SSD. And then we want to insert it into the Steam Deck at a 45 degree angle. And then we want to screw it back in. For those interested, here is a comparison between the 64 gigabyte SSD that comes with the Steam Deck. And then here is our Sabrom Rocket 2230 SSD in the one terabyte size. So as you can see, a much better SSD to have in the Steam Deck and fits absolutely fine with no issues whatsoever. Now just reverse the steps to put everything back together and you're done. You then want to re-image SteamOS on the new SSD which I have a separate video on which you guys can follow. Now your SSD is ready to use and you can play all of your favorite games. As you can see that was super easy to do and took me less than 30 minutes to complete it all. Now just like with any modifications that you do, proceed with caution and you are doing it at your own risk. But hopefully this guide has helped you do the upgrade yourself. But anyway, that's it for today's video. If you've enjoyed it, then make sure to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.